Today I'll show you how to create a Shatsian and React project from scratch. So let's open the terminal and go to the directory where we want to create the project. For me, that's my workspace. Here we can run npm create vite at latest and this is going to initialize a new vite project for us. If it's the first time you're running this command, you're going to be asked if you want to install this script and just hit Y for yes. Here you can enter your project name. For me, I'm going to call this Shatsian react template and here you can select which framework you want to use in this case we're going to be going with react and here you can choose if you want to go with typescript javascript or even if you want to have react router or tanstack router already for this simple example i'm just going to choose typescript now this has created a project so let's go ahead and open it in visual studio code for that i'm just going to run code and then i'm going to copy this folder name Inside Visual Studio Code, we can open the terminal again and let's go ahead and install Tailwind CSS. And for that, we're just going to run npm install Tailwind CSS and Tailwind CSS slash Vite. After it's installed, we can go ahead and open source slash index.css. And here we can import Tailwind CSS in the top by adding at add import Tailwind CSS. Now that we have set up Tailwind, let's go ahead and adjust a few settings that are needed for ShadCN. The first one is inside the TypeScript configuration file. For that, let's go ahead and open tsconfig. If you want to find stuff actually easy, I can just hit command P and search for tsconfig. And here we just need to define these compiler options, including the base URL and the path. And this is what's going to be used inside our import statements. Then we're going to go ahead and open the other tsconfig file, which is tsconfig.app.json. And here we need to add the same settings again inside the compiler options. Now the last step to configure the imports is to open the vid configuration file. So it's vid.config.ts. And here we're going to import Tailwind CSS, which we're going to add to the plugins. And we're going to also import path. And we're going to use this to resolve all the paths that start with an at. Now we're done configuring our project. So let's go ahead and open the terminal again and initialize ShadCN. For that, we're going to run npx shatcn at latest in it. And here you can choose which tone of gray you want to use. I'm going to go with neutral. And since we're using the latest version of React, we have to use force to install. So just hit enter here. This is going to install all the dependencies and set everything up for shatcn. And as you can see, we have a success message here. So now let's go ahead and add a real component from shatcn. And I'm going to start with the simplest one, which is a button. So for that, you can just run npx shatcn at latest, add, and then the component name. And in this case, that's the button. Hit enter. And if you receive this warning because of the React version, just hit enter to install the dependencies. Now this created a new file with the button. So if I go to source slash components slash UI slash button, you're going to see that this component has been added to the code base. Now let's go ahead and start the project and make sure that everything works. So npm run dev and let's open this URL. And as you can see, the application is running. Let's go ahead and replace this button with the one from ShotCN just to make sure that it works correctly. So I'm going to go and open up the TSX. And here we have this button. So let's just replace it with button. And let's also go ahead and remove this styling that we have inside our app.css. We don't need this stuff anymore. And now if we go back to the project, as you can see, this is our button from ShatCN UI. Congratulations, you have just set up your project with ShatCN, Vite, and React.js. If you actually want to save a bit of time, I have published this code on GitHub. I'm going to put the link to it in the description. So you can just go ahead and clone the repository and get started with your project. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.